Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Mechanical Engineer. In this video, I am going to brief the process of constructing the Mohr circle and I am going to evaluate the principal stresses. First of all, Mohr circle is a graphical method to evaluate the principal stresses. In a plane stress condition, an element has three stresses in each side. So one is sigma x, sigma y and tau xy. So here the sigma x is acting in the tensile direction, sigma y is also acting in the tensile direction, tau xy is acting in the counterclockwise direction. At this state, the element has three stresses. If I rotate the element in any one direction, at a particular angle, the tau xy value will be nullified. That is, at that particular plane, there will be no shear stresses. That plane is called as principal plane and the Normal stresses acting at that plane is called as the principal stresses. For example, if I am rotating into an angle theta, if the shear stress is zero at that particular angle, then the normal stress acting in the x direction is considered as sigma 1 and the normal stress acting in the y direction is considered as sigma 2, that is maximum principal stress and the minimum principal stress. At this plane, there will be no shear stress. In this case, the Mohr circle helps us to evaluate the angle, that is the principal angle, and the values of the maximum and minimum principal stresses. Now let us see how to construct the Mohr circle. In this example I have considered, I have considered sigma x in the tensile direction, sigma y in the tensile direction, and tau xy in the counterclockwise direction. So first draw a horizontal line. This line represents the normal stress values and a vertical line to represent the shear stress values. I am considering tensile in the right side and compression in the left side. Similarly in the vertical scale I am considering clockwise in the upward and counterclockwise in the downward. First I am marking a point sigma x because sigma x is acting in the tensile direction. So first we should take some scale, for example if sigma x is 50 megapascal, we should convert that megapascal into mm. So let us say I am considering a 1 megapascal is equal to 1 mm. So sigma x, is, if it is 50 megapascal, then I am marking a point at a distance of 50 mm from the origin. Okay, so you can assume a scale between megapascal and mm and correspondingly we can construct the drawing. Similarly. Considering sigma y, it is also acting in the tensile direction. So in the positive side, I am marking sigma y with the distance of sigma y from the origin. Next, to represent the tau xy, I am going to mark a vertical line because I am considering shear in the vertical direction and tau xy is acting in the counterclockwise direction. So I am marking a vertical line from the sigma x to represent the tau xy and if you take tau yx it is acting in the clockwise direction. So to represent tau yx I am marking a line from the sigma y point in the upward to represent clockwise direction. Next I am connecting the two points that is tau xy and tau yx points and I am getting an origin. So this line represents the current plane at which these stress components are acting. Now to construct a circle, we can fix this as the origin and this distance as the radius and we can draw a circle. This circle is called as the Mohr circle. Now we have constructed the Mohr circle. To evaluate the principal stress, I am rotating this plane to the horizontal direction. If I rotate this plane in the horizontal direction, this point will be coinciding with this Mohr circle. And this distance is the maximum principal stress, that is sigma 1. This horizontal line represents the principal plane. So I am rotating this current state of stress to particular angle and the horizontal line represents the principal stress, that is why I am taking sigma 1 in the horizontal line. Similarly, in the left side of the circle, we can find out the value of sigma 2. And from the origin, we can evaluate 
the maximum shear stress. So this angle is called as principal angle and the magnitude is 2 deta p. Actually deta p is the principal angle. Here we, we can evaluate 2 deta p. Now I can mark a horizontal line to rotate this element and I am marking an angle deta p and I am constructing the element with 4 stresses. Sigma 1 to represent the maximum principal stress sigma 2 to represent the minimum principal stress. So here you can see that sigma 1 is also in the tensile side. Similarly, sigma 2 is also on the tensile side. So this is how we can construct a Mohr circle and we can evaluate the principal stresses. Now let us solve a problem. For the state of plane stress, construct Mohr circle, determine the principal stresses and determine the maximum shear stress. So this is the question given. We can see that sigma 1 is in the tensile direction, but sigma y is in the compression direction. Similarly, tau xy is also in the counterclockwise direction. I am taking a scale of 1 megapascal is equal to 1 m. While taking the scale, be clear that you can construct the Mohr circle within the given area. So first I am drawing a horizontal line and a vertical line. I am keeping the tensile in the right side, compression in the left side. Similarly, clockwise in the upward direction and counterclockwise in the downside. So first I am marking sigma x point. So the distance is 50 mm because 50 megapascal, if I convert this using the scale, I will get 50 mm. So sigma x is equal to 50 mm. Next I am marking a point in the left side because sigma y is given in the compression direction. That is why I have taken in the left side and sigma y is 10 mm in the opposite direction. Next I am going to plot tau xy. The tau xy is acting in the counterclockwise direction. So from sigma x I am drawing a vertical line to represent the tau xy. So the distance is 40 megapascal so I have given 40 mm. Next the tau yx is acting in the clockwise direction. So from sigma y point I am marking 40 mm in the upward direction. Next I am connecting the two lines to draw the Mohr circle. Now I am fixing this point as origin and this distance as radius and I am constructing the Mohr circle. Now we have constructed the Mohr circle. Next we can evaluate the sigma values. Now the right side maximum distance of the Mohr circle from the origin I can take it as sigma 1. So I can measure it as 70 mm. Similarly in the left side I can evaluate sigma 2 that is 30 mm. Next the tau max value from the origin the maximum radius is 50 mm. Now I am going to construct the element. Before that we should evaluate the principal plane inclination. So the 2 deta p value is 53 degree. Now I am drawing a horizontal line and deta p is 26.5 because the 2 deta is 53 and I am constructing an element. The sigma x is acting in the tensile direction. So I am specifying the sigma x and sigma y is acting in the compressive direction. And to convert the scale, so the distance of sigma 1 is 70 mm. So 1 mm is equal to 1 megapascal. So sigma 1 is equal to 70 megapascal. Similarly, sigma 2 is equal to 30 mm. So it is 30 megapascal. So this is how we can construct the Mohr circle and we can evaluate the principal stress and principal plane from the Mohr circle. Thank you.